Hey everyone, it's Kevin here, and today I'm going to be talking about a very special kettle well known to all coffee enthusiasts, the Fellow Stag EKG kettle. So this is an electric kettle that has a gooseneck, so the gooseneck allows you to control the pour into very fine detail, and the electric aspect of it allows you to heat up the water fairly quickly and set it to specific temperatures uh, as desired. The first and biggest pro of this kettle is the design. Uh, it's weird to be praising the design of something as simple as a kettle, but this is a very beautiful kettle. Uh, the shape of the actual kettle itself, the way it connects to the base, um, the shape of the gooseneck, and the materials all around, uh, except for a couple things which I'll come to later, really come together for a very complete package. There's a couple like dials and switches on the kettle on the back. There's a uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit switch as well as a hold switch. And on the front, there's a small screen as well as a really nice tactile clicky knob. So overall, the design is really pleasing. Let me know what you think about the design of this kettle in the comments down below. I'll be hanging out there. The next pro is the pour. The main way to judge these gooseneck kettles is how they pour. You want to have a very fine control over how the kettle pours, and this kettle does just that. You can control the pour down to individual drops, which is awesome. Apparently, also, the kettle was designed such that the handle has like a counterweight, so it gives you even more control over the pour. Although I didn't really notice a huge impact of such counterweight, um, it's there and it's probably doing something. <laughs> Finally, there are numerous features that make this kettle great. As I said earlier, you can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. The hold switch is also very convenient because it allows you to step away from the kettle while you're grinding coffee or doing something and when you come back, the temperature is as you wanted it to be. I like the fact that you can set the temperature as desired, so if you want it to be 195 degrees, you can do that. Finally, the temperature sensor of the kettle itself is a PID, which basically means you have really fine control over the temperature of the water. And it heats the water really, really fast, so it's awesome. Okay, the cons of the kettle. The main drawback is the price. It comes in at 150 bucks. Not cheap, but you're paying for the design, you're paying for the features, <laughs> you're kind of paying for like the status. And when you're a coffee enthusiast, you really just want this kettle, so just go for it, right? <laughs> um, at the price, you'd expect all the materials to be uh, tip top, but the lid is like really plasticky and not great and the handle also is kind of this plasticky material as well. And finally, since the kettle does heat the water really quickly, it does draw a lot of power at higher temperatures, especially above 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So you might notice that your lights might dim a little bit when you're heating at these higher temperatures. Okay, conclusion. This is a great kettle, there's no denying that, but it is expensive and you're paying for the design and the features. So, all in all, if you really appreciate design, go for it. You won't regret it. All right, thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe if you like this content, and I'll have a lot more videos coming soon. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.